Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil 2 with Mioix Fu. And last time we went and explored the rest of the basement and found out that, well, the game's smarter than I thought it was going to be and it, well no, it was as smart as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Let's be honest. And, well, I couldn't actually take any of the weapon any of the special weapon locker things, such as the submachine gun or the backpack upgrade. But we also cleared out the rest of the kennel and everything, so... We have everything we need to, I believe, finish the precinct. I think we only need to go in here. I'm pretty sure it's in here. Yeah, 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 because I remember I said it looked like the uh, gas chamber door from Resident Evil 1. Yeah, here we go, and we're going to be able to get the the gear from here. Something is on the wheel, light the queen, the king, and the jack. Aha! So, I, there we go. So let's light this, light this baby up. And then... 23. No, I do want to turn it on. Is number one. There we go. Now we can go get the gear. Go. Oh! Hello, Mr. Tall, Bald, and Creepy. I did not expect that. <laughs> didn't really scare me, just I'm like, oh, well, <laughs> shoot. <laughs> Ow, that must have hurt. It must be all burned up and everything from smashing, oh, through this wall. Pity he can't just come back through the wall and chase me. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Pity he's too slow to hit me. <laughs> That, okay, that that one got me. <laughs> Again, more of a whoo than anything else, but... Is he going to smash out of any more walls? Now I'm expecting that every single one that I turn, he's going to come out of. Alright, now let's see. What's the best way to do this? Probably to go up by the liquor. Yeah, probably. Just wait for him to walk away a little and then go right by him. <laughs> it's been a while since we saw that guy. Oh, man. Ah. Oh. <laughs> it's nice seeing him again. Because, I like it, like I said earlier, as soon as we saw a first... Uh, as soon as we saw Sherry those two times, I was expecting, okay, any moment... He's gonna show up. But of course he didn't. So... Sorry, I'm also paying attention to this liquor. For obvious reasons. <laughs> well, what I hope are obvious reasons. We're gonna let him go by back again. So... But, as soon as we had rescued... Or, met Sherry those two times, I'm expecting him to be around every corner, so it's kind of a load off my mind that he actually showed up. You know? <laughs> Alright. Oh man, I really wish I could go into like first person view or something and just take a closer look at these guys, because the only thing we really have to go on about what they actually look like is that uh CG movie from when we first meet them. Alright. <laughs> okay, I was like, where is he? He's supposed to be chasing after me. I just ran right past him. <laughs> I guess he has to, had to go all the way back down the aisle and turn around there. <laughs> okay. Oh, and he's gonna come out of the bookcase! No. <laughs> I don't expect anything like that. Alright, and then... Let's see. I mean, I could, suppose we could take the... the chute down to the... right outside the kennel once we fix up everything, but I don't really want to do that. <laughs> Alright, here we go. 
It took a long time to get you, Mr. Crank, so please work. Uh, awesome. Awesome. Goodbye, Mr. Crank. You served your job well. I'll never forget you. Well, I... I... <laughs> of course I will. <laughs> I use you once. Looks like a switch. Will you push it? No, because I gotta put a gear in first. There we go. Or cog. Or whatever. Yes, I will push it. I will open the door. Aha! Okay, so it's setting on the back wall, because when we were doing uh, Leon's story, I couldn't really tell where the... Was it the rook that we got here? Where that was. Aw, uh, do you mean that with Claire we can't jump down and have have a nice little slide <laughs> over... Wait a minute, we're on the... Uh... No, we're on the third floor, so it'd be like four flights that we that Leon slid down and he's just like oh that was a bit of a rough landing <laughs> surprised you you didn't break your legs and they didn't shatter through your entire body <laughs> oh hello seems like you're showing up more often these days nope <laughs> Well, we couldn't get around you that easily that time. But come on, Claire. The door was right there. Why didn't you just go in through there? Also, come on. Sherry's not even anywhere close to me. Why are you chasing after me? <laughs> Watch, he's just going to jump through the ceiling after me now. Nope, he's not even there. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool if he just, like, did a little jump and fell through, but... Well, now I'm expecting him around every corner again, because... Well, he showed up around pretty much every corner. <laughs> this is fun. Come on, turn around. I need to get going. Alright, so let's... Head over to the secretary's room, put together the three pendants or whatever. The three. The three artifacts in the hidden temple. <laughs> oh man, I wish. But seriously, what are what are they look like Aztec uh artifacts, so. That's not that crazy of an idea. Ooh, wait. I'm gonna... I should probably hide over here. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna speed up the process a little. <laughs> I'm gonna go down the ladder, go up, and he'll already be starting going the other way. And the time it takes to load between these scenes is probably about the same time, if not shorter. Nope! Okay, he heard me. Little too close that time. You're not gonna catch me this time. <laughs> Little too quick for you. See, that's why I think Claire's faster. I don't I don't feel like Leon would ever be able to outrun those guys. Oh, okay, safer. Okay. So we need blue stone, red stone, yellow stone, and by our powers combined, we summon, well, a hidden door. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna save quick, and I'm gonna see you guys next time on Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil 2 with Mio Fu, and we'll finally open the hidden door in Chief Iron's office and see what we can see. See what secrets are hidden behind it. I mean, it's gotta be the labs, right? Maybe? I have no idea, actually, so... <laughs> 
actually it might be a good idea to change up my arsenal a little bit too. Anyway, take it easy.